Hello people, hello people, this is Bio from Spirit Runners UK once again uh, here sharing my weekly podcast. I just wanted to uh, just talk briefly about the next video which is my interview with a reputable doctor, a very good friend of mine who has a private practice in the States um, and um, it basically the topic involves how you can live a healthy lifestyle by ensuring you take the necessary vitamins and nutrients that you need um, this video can actually help towards a contribution of prevention of COVID. It's not a cure, but I, because of the type of vitamin that she's talking about, or the nutrient that she's talking about, it can help strengthening your immune system, which is actually what fights the COVID virus. So please take it seriously. I'm not saying it's a cure, like I said, but it can help to strengthen your immunity and to help your body do what it's supposed to do best, which is fighting any virus or any form of bacteria or infection that tries to attack it anyway people i'm sure you'll enjoy the video god bless you and uh stay tuned bye thank you also so much for all my subscribers and everyone has been subscribing and liking my videos i'm so so grateful don't forget to click on the subscribe button at the bottom and like this video take care god bless you bye Thank you so much to all my viewers who have been subscribing and liking my videos. This is Spirit Runners UK, the one-stop shop for everything health and fitness. Um, we've had a few guests over the last few weeks, and today I have once again a special, special guest. She's an extremely busy woman, a very good old friend. Went to the same uni together, same Christian union. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just had to say that. And the person that is going to be our special guest today is Dr. Adekbaro Okulaja, who is the Chief Executive Officer of the doc at the Doctor's House in Minneapolis, uh, Minnesota. Um, she's uh, Our profile is huge. I'm just going to try and cover just a few of the things that she's been into. She's a facilitator of total wellness, spirit, soul and body workshops. Um, she's a pediatrician and has done an extensive research into so many different areas. Um, a very extremely busy woman and very knowledgeable. I thought that bringing her here would enlighten us in certain areas. And today we're actually going to be talking about the um, benefit of um, having the correct nutrients and vitamins. Um, in our diet and as part of uh, contribution to our overall wellness of soul and, uh, you know, and body. Um, and without wasting much time, I'm going to uh, ask her to uh, say a little bit about herself again, just a short, very short, you know, I might have missed something out. And then we're going to go into uh, a number of questions. So over to you, Dr. Okulaja. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Or good day. I don't know what time it is. Anywhere in the world, my name is Adek Baro Okulaja, as um, uh, Baya has rightly said. My um, middle name is Methbel, and I am a physician. I have been a physician for about 31 years, which actually dates me, but um, I'm good. I'm good with that. I am a MedPeds physician by training, and a lot of people say, what's MedPeds? And a MedPeds physician is a physician who went through training in internal medicine and a pediatrician is one who underwent who has undergone training in pediatrics so which means that i did both at the same time oh, wow. Crazy, wow. But true. so i'm an internist as well as a pediatrician but approximately um 12 years ago i decided to focus and concentrate only on internal medicine and i worked for 11 and a half years with a big health system and because mm -hmm. of the fact that my uh, philosophy, my style of practice was changing and morphing more rapidly than could be contained by a big system, I made the choice to go into private practice and founded the doctor's yeah. house. And the yeah. premise yeah. of the doctor's house is to create a place of uh, refuge, safety and comfort for my patients while pursuing health and wellness. That's it, fantastic. fantastic, fantastic. 
Fantastic. So we've heard it all. And this is why I felt it was so important to bring her in because she's got where well, you will hear from, as I said, from the horses when she starts talking. So today, we're, we're like I said, we're going to be talking about um, the, the importance and the relevance of uh, new new trends and vitamins and supplements in our, as part of our daily diet. And she's going to be correcting some notions that we have. So I'm going to ask you, um, Dr. Okulaja, what is the relevance of nutrients and uh, supplements in our as part of our daily diet? Do we have to take them? Will it is it part of our part of our diet? I mean, from a medical standpoint, how do you see this fitting into our healthy lifestyle? Okay, so the way I see it is, um, I I always use the analogy. I sometimes use the analogy of a house. A house is a building. Our bodies are sort of buildings. And yeah. we have pipes, we have drainage, we have showers and sinks and the things that make a house a house. And those mm -hmm. I consider the what we call macronutrients, which are our carbohydrates, our um, proteins, our mm -hmm. vegetables and all that. They are an essential part of our lives. But as a yeah. result of the fact that we have these macronutrients um, in mm -hmm. our houses, we also need the things that make life, uh, living in a house more comfortable, like sofas, like chairs, yes. like running water, yes. like running sewer. And that yes. is what yes. our vitamins are like. They are mm. essential to the proper running of our houses. Uh, actually, they mm. are essential. So for example, carbohydrates gives us energy, but mm -hmm. let's say for example, chromium, which is a mineral, or vitamin B12 mm. helps us to metabolize the carbohydrate that we take into our bodies properly so we have maximal benefit. Wow. So you can see how it's essential. And yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, so when we talk about vitamins, they are extremely important. And wow. the, um, the, the most preferable way to get vitamins into our bodies is through the means of food because that's when they're palatable mm -hmm. and they are yes, yes. nice and they taste good. And so yeah. um, what would I say about the need to keep a balanced diet and to get all these macro and micronutrients into our, into our bodies? I would say it's absolutely essential. That is the primary way. And not to run ahead of, our, of ourselves, but people say, so how do I know that I'm getting the right kind of, you know, diet and the right nutrients in my food? Um, the mm -hmm. general rule of thumb is the more colorful your plate, the better. The more <laughs> colorful your plate, the better. The, the, the more primary colors you can get on your plate, the better. The more greens, yeah. and blues and oranges and indigos and yellows and reds that you can get on your plate, the better. And as, a, as another rule of thumb, they should all lie on a bed of green. Mm, wow. Wow. Bed. This is quite a very enlightening. It's very wow. But it gives you a visual. So if you're looking at your plate and you see your carbohydrates on one side and your protein on the other, you should also have a bed of greens on which all mm. these mm. lovely colors like peppers, like onions, like... Mm. Um, mm -hmm. asparagus, like uh, mushrooms, like all these things now come on that bed. And although we can't get all the colors in in some meals, the more the merrier. And that's the yes, difference. yes. Fantastic. So, so obviously, with that, um, you can't really say you're healthy if you're doing all this fitness, and yet in terms of your nutrition you're not, you're, you're, you're lacking the essential vitamins and nutrients that should be in your meal. And if you can't, if for any reason, because of a lifestyle that we live or, you, you know, you find that you're not able to get all the balance, are there any other alternatives? I know they might not be preference, but what else can a person do? Oh, because absolutely. obviously we all try, we all try as much as possible to make sure we have everything in our meals, but just by chance we're missing out something is there what can we possibly do to um to you know to to avoid that yeah well the picture i just painted is a utopian picture of what it means to eat a healthy diet in a perfect world that is what it would be like but like you yeah. just mentioned we have we have schedules we have food allergies we have food intolerances that sometimes prevent us from eating the foods that we 
want to eat their personal likes and dislikes. I've known some people who say that they don't have any allergies to a particular food, but eating them just does not make them feel good. And so we don't want to yeah. force people to eat their vegetables, you know, which <laughs> wants you to eat your vegetables. But if you can't, um, supplements are a good way to go. And I want to point out that, unfortunately, a lot of the foods that we have in the market right now or in our food supply chain, even though they look good, they may not have the ideal amount of supplements that we need. For example, looking at the picture of a pepper from like 1920 to a pepper today, it, there's a huge mm -hmm. difference. And that's yeah. like, oh, we talk about GMOs, and I'm not going to get into that right now, mm -hmm. but... Um, mm -hmm. That's why I recommend to my patients, and we try as much as we can, to either grow your own vegetables or try to get mm -hmm. organic. And if you can't do that, then supplements are a way to go. Because, for example, mm -hmm. I, um, I, I, I like meat. I'm from a meat-eating family, but I checked one of my vitamin levels that's supposed to be up with eating meat, and it wasn't. And it wow. probably is something going on in my own body. Maybe I don't absorb it properly. And so I have mm -hmm. to start that part of my diet with a supplement. You know, so, okay. you know, the, the, the first, the first um, choice is to get it through your food from the ground. Food, yeah. Not yes, for yes. Very reasons, then we can take supplements. But the, um, the cautioning uh, part of this is always that, you should always check with a nutritionist or a medical provider mm -hmm. when you're taking mm -hmm. nutrients because some of them clash when you take them at the same time. Some of them, you know, okay. taking some at the same time render the one or the other useless. And some people okay. take a lot of um, vitamins and they take too much of one and not enough of another because of lack of knowledge. Um, and because yeah. when you're talking about commercially available supplements, they don't always make that distinction too clear. I hope you understand. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Right. yes. Yeah. So, so give us an example of like the supplements. So are we talking, I know there's quite a few. There's vitamin A, B, C, D, and E, and all, all there is K. I mean, just because obviously you've done a lot of research to do. So what are examples, just in case people are not really sure about them? So what are these vitamins or nutrients? Just, yeah. just might mention, I know we can cover of them or just to mention them so at least we have an idea of yeah. what we're looking that's actually a really valid question and i can't say i've done a lot of research on it but i've been, i've learned about it in school and, and through my own personal reading and all that but when we talk about vitamins we can we can dis, uh, divide them into two main categories the fat soluble vitamins and the water soluble vitamins the fat-soluble vitamins, I'll start with them, they are vitamins A, D, E, and K. And the way I tell my patients to remember it is a deck on the deck. <laughs> a deck. deck. Wow. And usually because I recommend that fat-soluble vitamins should be um, consumed at night or taken in at night, I always say, take a deck on the deck with dinner. So, so that's an easy way to remember it. The fat soluble okay. vitamins are A, D, E, and K. And vitamin yeah. A is um, the site vitamin. Let's put it that way. The site vi vitamin. And it's also called beta carotene or the carotene. Okay. And um, they come from carrots, orange, carrots, yes. and all that stuff. Um, D, okay. we're going to be talking about um, very soon. Yes, so I'm, yeah. I'm not going to jump ahead. Vitamin yeah, A. Yeah another fat soluble vitamin and it's very important for skin integrity and also for maintaining joint mobility and some other functions and k the primary um function of vitamin k is for blood homeostasis is with homostasis is what hemostasis sorry is what we call it the integrity mm -hmm. of our of our clotting um cascade in the body yeah. if a person yeah. does not have enough vitamin k they will tend to bruise they will tend to bleed easily from wounds and so those are the fat soluble vitamins the water soluble mm -hmm. vitamins are mostly the b's and the and vitamin c vitamin c and the b's there are other vitamins but with it's beyond the scope of this talk today so yes. Yes. Um, so for vitamin c vitamin c is a water soluble vitamin and um, mm -hmm. it is um, widely available, and you can get those from oranges and from citrus fruits. And the yeah. 
things are much more ubiquitous and in all things. And um, I always um, joke and say the vitamin Bs are for the five Bs of life. Brains, brawn, beauty, birthing, and broad span. Brains, wow. brain function, wow. beauty, good skin, um, vitality, um, uh, brawn, muscle strength, and, and yeah. fitness. Um, birthing, uh, vitamin, some of the B vitamins, including vitamin B12, have been implicated in um, infertility. And some of the B vitamins are very, very important in the brain development in fetuses. Um, that is B9. And so um, that's for um, birthing. And the other one is broad span, because I had to find a word that means longevity that starts with yes. the B. So broad span. Again, the five Bs are beauty, brain, yep. brawn, birthing, and broad span. So those are the wow. B vitamins. They're lovely, aren't they? <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, yeah. A very good way to keep tabs and, you know, yeah. to keep tabs of it so that way you're on the point and you're not missing anything. Like, yeah. The rule of thumb is that you, you can get too much of the fat-soluble vitamins because they are stored in body fat. And... They are not easily excreted from the body because they're not water soluble. And the water soluble vitamins, the Bs and the Cs, they are more easily excreted from the body, but they have some exceptions. One of them being vitamin B6, which unfortunately is contained in a lot of the energy drinks that are out there. And that's a word of caution. So people who yeah. consume a lot of energy drinks tend to get that buzz and that buzz comes from caffeine and vitamin B6. But you can get, a person can get too much vitamin B6 and it can lead to neurologic dysfunction as much as a vitamin B6 deficiency can. But again, that's for another day. <laughs> yeah, wow. This is so enlightening. So, well, viewers, I'm sure you're hearing from the doctor's mouth, you know, um, we really need to, um, you will probably need to watch this video over and over again so that you can, uh, replay what she said and and follow it to the letter because really if you're living a healthy lifestyle you've got to make sure you do things properly and this is doing things properly so without wasting much I'm going to go into my my last question question which is about um, uh, vitamin D we've heard a lot about it in terms of helping our immunity and all that. So what exactly is it? Is it a vitamin or is it more than a vitamin? And what is its role in a healthy lifestyle, you know, promoting a healthy lifestyle? Well, you know, I'm glad you say more than a vitamin because that's exactly what vitamin D is. It is more than a vitamin. Actually, it's a, one of the loves of my life, vitamin D. <laughs> 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 so uh, vitamin D is actually not a vitamin. It is not a vitamin. I don't know, and I will have to find that out, which is quite curious because I'm very, um, very into everything vitamin D. I don't know how it came to be classified as a vitamin. I don't know. But it is not a vitamin because the definition of a vitamin, like we just said earlier, is a substance that is essential for the proper functioning of the body, but that cannot be produced by our bodies. They have to be taken mm -hmm. in in form of food or supplement. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. vitamin D breaks that first rule because mm -hmm. when D is produced is in fact majorly in our bodies. Now yes, we take yeah. vitamin D supplements we, and mm. we can get vitamin D from some foods, but the primary mm. source that it was supposed to come from is our bodies, mm. and in particular, yeah. our skin. So does mm. that answer the question? <laughs> I <hope> yes. So. <laughs> so, so, so in terms of, um, of, so they, I, I know there's so many different types of it out there. There's D2, there's D3. I think did you we did mention D6 earlier. So how can we benefit from it? What what do we do? I mean, we know, I know that there's something about it. You're getting it from the sun. Um, some people say, well, the sun, you have to be out at a particular time to, to get, grab it from the sun. So how can we maximize it? What can we do to... Um, uh, use it to 
help us to live a healthy lifestyle, to improve our lifestyles. Um, that's what this channel is about. So if you just tell us a bit more about it, yeah. Um, so um, I, um, that's a huge question, but I will attempt to answer it because <laughs> I, <laughs> I know, I know. I think summer, yeah. I, um, the creator of the human body was thought that it was very important that we have vitamin D and entrusted the biggest organ in the body for the manufacturing or uh, for the manufacturing of vitamin D. And the biggest organ, the largest organ in the human body is the human skin. And yeah, that yeah. is how vitamin D is formed. It is formed by the effect of UVB rays on cholesterol in the skin. In the, on the, in the deeper layers of the skin. And from that cholesterol that we eat in from the, all those good fatty foods, like, because there are some good fatty foods like salmon and um, mackerel and, you know, all the good, good ones. And, and from the, um, you know, like cod, from cod liver oil, that's where we get that from and herring and all that. So we make cholesterol, we eat fats and then some of it is in our skin and the UBV, UVB, um, acts on that and forms 25, uh, no, it, it forms a form of um, vitamin D. And then that form of vitamin D, the precursor, gets taken to the liver. And in the liver, it becomes 25 hydroxy vitamin D. And then in from the liver, it gets transported to the kidneys and where it gets hydroxylated again to become 125 dihydroxy um, vitamin D. So what happens after that occurs? That is not the active vitamin D, but then it becomes calcitriol, which is the active form. And that goes to over 2,000 receptors in the body. There is no system that is exempt from the effect of vitamin D. There is no system. You remember I was talking about the B vitamins, how the brain brawn beauty. Oh, vitamin D is everything it codes for let me read this here so that i'm going to be accurate it it has the ability to affect to interact and affect more than 2000 genes in the body and now that we're talking about genes and it's it's just so fascinating um, in the in the past we used to think that the genes that we were born with are the genes that we're stuck with now it is not so now we're talking about epigenetics so what they're saying is that vitamin D actually has the ability to flip some of those epigenetic um, switches to express things that are favorable for health and for wellness. And when wow. it is not available, then those switches cannot be flipped and we have disease, unwellness, muscle weakness, and all the, thing, all the other things that it, exp uh, that it uh, presents with. And it says yeah. that here vitamin D enhances muscle strength and it helps us to build bones. So for people who are athletes, such as you and super athletes, um, the difference between being vitamin D sufficient and vitamin D insufficient is running a marathon and getting home and say, oh, that was hard, even though you're fit. <laughs> Two, running a marathon, coming home and saying, oh, um, I, somebody was calling me on my phone. As you mentioned, it's it's endless. But <laughs> but that's the difference between going for a run, coming home and saying, yeah. I feel good. Let's go for more. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. okay, yeah. what is, are you Superman? Just like your T-shirt says. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what I, say, what I say to people is that uh, kryptonite brings Superman down, but vitamin D raises him up, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so, so and, and then continuing, not only that, vitamin D has anti-inflammatory properties, and that's why it is so important in the prevention and the modulation of the prognosis and the progression of autoimmune diseases. And with the last 10 years, with people becoming more and more vitamin D deficient, we've seen a rise in the incidence of autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, systemic lupus erythematosus, amongst some others. And um, in, in as much as it does that, it also helps to bolster the immunity, to build it up so that there is a relative, um, there's not relative, there's actually absolute immunity increasing in an incremental fashion based on the blood levels 
to respiratory infections, allergies, diseases as a, as a whole, diabetes, um, metabolic syndrome, you know, heart attacks, strokes. It is a huge huge thing. It, it, it helps with the use of insulin, the effective metabolism of insulin, so that that helps to prevent obesity and diabetes. So we're talking about a big, 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 big person here, yes. called entity uh -huh. called vitamin D. It's, it's, not yeah. a, it's not a vitamin, it's a steroid hormone. And steroid hormones are the hormones that help our bodies work. They help mm -hmm. our bodies work. And the way I talk about vitamin D is that it is the hormone of hormones because wow. it also affects the proper functioning of the thyroid, which affects the metabolism. It affects the mm -hmm. proper functioning of the adrenal glands, which drives our immunity, our response wow. to stress, you know, and our ability to deal with those things in a, in a balanced way. We can say that um, vitamin D is like Switzerland. It maintains balance. Keeps uh, or keeps refugees safe and uh, it's a good bank. <laughs> and it's a best awesome. for the That's awesome. It's a diplomat. It's a it's a politician. It's a good politician. <laughs> yeah, awesome. That is that's so so informative, and you know I'm so glad I was finally able to get you on this channel because I am going to play this over and over again, and I'm sure that my viewers are going to play this over and over again because you've just dropped quite a lot of solid information that will be very beneficial to a lot of us, especially the athletes or people who are pursuing a healthy lifestyle through fitness. I mean, I, I take um, vitamin D3 regularly now, especially after having that conversation, initial conversation with you, and I'm, um, I've, I have rest periods and I'm just coming out of my rest period and I'm going to start training from Monday, and I know for sure I am going to notice an immense difference in my fitness lifestyle. And, and that's um, a good thing that you can report. You can come yes, back. Yes, of course. And see, and I will. People, I, I, okay, and see if you notice a difference. She said so, but oh, yeah. it's true. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because I'm trying what you said, you know, because before I wasn't actually taking it. But now, I mean, since we had a conversation, I ordered it and I've, I now take it every night um, as prescribed. And um, I, I know that I'm going to feel the difference when I start training. I mean, I'm feeling it now, but I think when you put your body under a lot of stress, which is what happens when I'm running all those long 20 mile runs, 26 ultra marathons, which are 50K and stuff like that's when you actually really need that to um, to be able to dig deep to your reservoir to be able to keep you get you going when everyone else around you is falling by the wayside and you you keep yourself you you you're, you're still going strong and when and you finish that's um, stronger too you're yes stronger. exactly yeah they're yes, better yes, able to withstand yes. stress you know exactly yes which is essential when you're doing those long miles, your joints and your bones need to be strong to be able to take the pressure. So I'm really grateful you've been able to find the time to be able to come and um, talk to us, um, do this interview on this channel. I am i don't know when I'll be able to get you back, but I'm believing God, by God's grace, <laughs> whatever it takes, we're, we're five, is it six hours difference. Oh, between six hours time. difference, yeah, yeah. yeah. Take it quite a good few weeks for us to set this up, you know, but I'm so grateful that eventually happened. Um, uh, subscribers and viewers, you've heard from Dr. Metabel, who's enlightened us on the importance of um, new trends and vitamins and supplements, which we're our primary source should be our foods, but vitamins, well, well, more than a vitamin, like vitamin D3, it's beyond, you know, it's, it's beyond our, our foods. Um, we're supposed to be able to process it through our skin as a, as a uh, skin as um, uses sun rays, UV rays, but obviously because of the way we live and the fact that we don't get, especially in the western part of the world, we don't get a lot of sunlight. Um, we have to take this. Like everything else, consult your doctor first, go to your GP and consult your doctor first before you um, then go out and buy. D3 apparently is the best form of vitamin D to, you know, to buy and the, the different strengths as well. I think we might have to bring you back again to be able to talk more about what is and what's, you know, what is, but like 
we all know that we should be taking it. We should be taking D3 and then we should uh, consult our, our GPs um, before we start taking it like everything else, you know. Um, but it's one of the fun vitamins that we, we cannot afford not to take. So thank you so much for your time, Doctor. Oh, before Mike we go, Bell. I'm just going oh, to put up good. the little um, thing that, like we've always said, the first and primary way of getting all these uh, vitamins is from natural sources. So please, please, take the time to go out into the sun. Take a walk every day. Take, good. A, walk. Good. take a walk without sunscreen, but not, you know, because it's all a balance. Take a walk, keep your arms and your, and cover your head, but keep your arms and your legs free, wear as few clothing, decent as decently possible. And, you know, spend, spend about 30 minutes in the sun and that will give you approximately 20,000 international units of vitamin D for lighter skinned people and about 10 to 12 for darker skinned people. So yes, get into the wow, sun, wow. get into the sun. Wow, there you go, you heard it, so get in the sun, Go for your brisk walk. Come running with me. Go jogging <laughs> and get some good, get, get some good sunshine because that will give you the, you know, a huge amount of vitamin D that you actually need. So we've heard it from a doctor. Thank you so once again so much for sparing your time to come to um, talk to us and for doing this interview. Um, everyone, please stay safe and keep on subscribing to this channel. I've got a lot more stuff lined up and this is your one-stop shop for everything health and fitness um if you have any questions you can always contact me through the channel and you can always send me an email or you can also go to my facebook uh, page group as well which is spirit runners uk to ask any question i'll be posting stuff there as well uh from this uh interview so that you can but you can always go back to the channel and replay it. thank you so much for subscribing and for tuning yeah. in again take care God bless you. And over to you, Dr. Metabel, if just to say your farewell, if you have a final word for us before you go. Um, oh, that's huge. Well, here I am. Stay <laughs> safe. Wash your hands. Safe distance. Stay healthy. Yeah, yeah. Eat well, get into the sun, exercise, yeah. and be yeah. strong. That's all I can Excellent. say. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. God bless you all. And um, hopefully, we'll